Hello everyone, Weather Jamaica here. Welcome to this updated video on the weather across Jamaica and the Caribbean. It is Friday evening, June 2, 2023. Now before we jump into it, please ensure that you guys like the video, share it, subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I post a brand new video. Feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section letting me know that that's been liking your ear recently. Also feel free to ask any weather related questions that you might have about the future of the weather in your specific era. I respond to all comments and I'm really for this stuff. Alright, so let's just take a look at what the US National Hurricane Center is showing regarding the now newly upgraded from Tropical Depression number 2 to Tropical Storm Arlene, which is the first named storm of the 2023 Atlantic hurricane season. So it's still expected to move towards the south, maybe affecting sections of Cuba, and it's expected to weaken back to a tropical depression. Taking a look at the surface map of the Atlantic for this evening, we can see that we still have that ridge of high pressure, still sending a lot of easterly trade winds across the main development region into the Caribbean. We can also see that we still have multiple tropical waves dotting the main development region. One tropical wave that has also made it into the Caribbean, now affecting sections of the eastern Caribbean as well. Taking a look at the visible satellite images before the sun went down, we can see the clouds associated with the era of low pressure that's tropical storm Arlene still spinning away right there across the eastern portions of the Gulf of Mexico with all of the thunderstorms off towards the north and east of the system and it's due to the fact that it's getting a lot of wind shear at this time which is why it's expected to weaken especially considering that it's moving into an era with more wind shear coming in from the west we can also see that we still have a lot of clouds associated with the trough that has been affecting portions of the Greater Antilles, so the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, Cuba, Hispaniola, Haiti getting in on some heavy weather right now, even Jamaica getting in on some more cloud cover and rainfall at this time. We can also see the clouds associated with the tropical waves still affecting portions of the Eastern Caribbean, not to mention sections of Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname and French Guiana as well as the waters of the main development region stretching all the way over into Africa. We'll be talking more about the weather across the Caribbean later on. Let's focus our attention on the prediction that was made in yesterday's video about the weather across Jamaica for Friday. It was stated that we would have received some rainfall across sections of eastern, central and western Jamaica as well as northern and southern Jamaica. Most parishes in general for Thursday night into Friday. And what ended up happening as early as 1.20 a.m. last night, early this morning, we had the Doppler radar images showing rainfall coming into sections of some southern parishes in Jamaica. And the rainfall, we know, is represented on Doppler radar images as being green, that represent moderate rainfall, and the yellows within those greens that represent even some stronger heavy rainfall. And we also had another post at 7.35 a.m showing more clouds bring overcast skies and showers as well as thunderstorms as we can see by the sparkling white dots especially across some southern parishes so we got that across sections of West Milan, St. Elizabeth, Manchester, Clarendon spreading all the way towards the east St. Catherine, Kingston and St. Andrew then St. Thomas got in some amount of rainfall and we even had a lot of reports of flash flooding across sections of St. Thomas as well we also had another post at 11.03 a.m. highlighting the live camera from the Kingston Harbor as produced by our partner over at YouTube C Jamaica. So feel free to check out their live cams on YouTube to see the Kingston Harbor live, not to mention the crossroads and halfway tree camera as well to see what's going on there. So we can indeed see that at around 11 or 3 a.m. we still had overcast skies as well as rainfall, even some foggy conditions across sections of the corporate area at that time. And the last port that was made at 5.20 p.m. still showed that we still had a lot of cloud cover across Jamaica in the evening hours almost evening hours with the heaviest of the weather off towards the east look at Haiti getting some dark reds and even white within those reds that indicate some heavy thunder showers right there so we still had majority of the heaviest rainfall right there off to the south and east of Jamaica most of that is pushing towards the east 
but we're still expected to still receive some more rainfall lingering across the island tonight into tomorrow if we actually take a look at the halfway through camera at around 8 57 a.m this morning we had confirmation we can see a lot of people walking with their umbrella lots of cars with their windshield wipers moving up and down so we indeed had some amount of moderate heavy rainfall across the corporate area for today as we can see right here on the sea jamaica live camera feel free to check out this live camera and the others at youtube.com at C Jamaica on the YouTube space so feel free to check it out taking a look at what we had in terms of the comments on our Twitter page we had Mark the Nomad posting a video from Yellow St. Thomas highlighting the heavy rainfall and the flooding that took place across those spots right there so we had some amount of inundation taking place and this is the video proof which proved all the rainfall that they've been receiving in that parish this morning we also have some more comments coming in a king rising stating spain town rain a fall from morning chirpy fellow here in mother book we await the deluge that the dark clothes portend sagittarius it is raining from early this morning and light rain is still in spanish town Sweet One Sun stating lots of rain in Mobe. Woman of God stating I'm enjoying the rain relaxing at home in the school weather. Twinkle on the track stating rain gonna relax for racers Grand Prix tomorrow. Well hopefully it does but yes there's definitely going to be some locks in the rainfall for Saturday. Less rainfall than what we got today most definitely. JJ stating consistent rain from Wednesday morning in the hills of manchester and that's it for the twitter comments moving on to some instagram comments because we do indeed have a lot of comments to look at chanel stating saint elizabeth getting rain from 1 30 a.m ali ishi stating me have closed another machine that needs to be dry for work you know but i love the rain um tara stating port get some finally we come off probation thank heavens Hot Diva stating Portmore ble is blessed today. Moving ahead, Kia Ting stating rain, rain, rain from last night until now. Cool and nice. Barbican area. For you, 2 NV stating many water like Hellshire. Official sun, sun star raining in Spanish Town from about 5 a.m. On another post, Saucy Melanin stating, yeah, man, out your cold, cold bud. Portland, nice and cool, says Jody. Simret stating, nuff, nuff, rain. Nad Smith raining in southeast Clarendon. And Nick Laverne stating, Kingston 8 raining. Even on our, on our Facebook page, we had some commenters coming in. Audrey stating, raining from last night in parts of St. James. Nardia raining in St. Elizabeth. Fallon raining above rocks. Latoya raining in Clarendon. Fabolas it's raining here in Kingston, Harbour View. Charmaine, light rain in Ochi. And we even had some comments coming in on our TikTok page. I'm happy for the rain. We need it, says Nakisha Harty. And finally... A comment here the last comment from Nell stating I have heard a huge thunder it woke me up after five and there was lightning rain non-stop at St. Elizabeth where I am living so that indeed confirms the rainfall that we just saw on the, saw on the satellite images and if we actually take a look at the visible satellite images from that time today we can see that yes we indeed had overcast skies majority of these clouds being upper level clouds and they were being streaked off from the southwest to the northeast by that upper level wind shear and we can see the colors that indicate the high cold cloud tops right there off towards the east of jamaica that's where the heaviest rainfall was located up to afternoon hours and we still have some amount of cloud cover across the island but not too much to cause some drastic rainfall but we might indeed get some rainfall in some isolated spots across the island tonight into tomorrow and we do indeed see that we still have some rainfall on the doppler radar images the latest doppler radar images we can see some rainfall or some light rainfall that is coming into sections of western and southwestern jamaica right there so maybe hanover 
Westmoreland, St. Elizabeth getting in on some amount of light rainfall with the heaviest rainfall right there off towards the east of Jamaica as well as to the north of Jamaica at this time. And if we actually take a look at the live view of the crossroads camera, we can see that we don't see much people or much of anyone walking with umbrellas. It's a clear night so far and hopefully it, it stays that way but we know that there's gonna be some rainfall as the next 12 to 24 hours takes shape all right so let us take a look at the caribbean institute for meteorology and hydrology's accumulated precipitation for the past 24 hours and we do indeed see that we had the confirmation of the rainfall across the area for today especially sections of some southern parishes in jamaica so we saw that we indeed had rainfall across sections of most parishes in jamaica just like what the models had predicted taking a look at the temperatures for tonight we can still have 25 degrees celsius in montego bay 25 degrees celsius in kingston and as usual as the night progresses these temperatures should be getting slightly even lower and if we take a look at the temperature forecast for tomorrow we see the consensus we see the agreement 18z on saturday shows that by 1 pm actually we have some amount of slightly above normal temperatures across eastern jamaica right there that's where we have the consensus that's where we have the agreement i know that for the month of june we should be experiencing some 90 degrees fahrenheit temperatures which is about the equivalent of 33 degrees celsius and if we should be getting some above normal temperatures across eastern jamaica they should be anywhere from 33 to 34 degrees celsius at most Taking a look at the dry air map, we still have a lot of cloud cover right there across Jamaica, including the Central and Central Caribbean and the Greater Antilles. And the air is moist, so we don't have much dry air across the region. The driest air is across the Gulf of Mexico, as well as the waters to the east of the Caribbean. Taking a look at the siren dust forecast, the siren dust is very much here in the Caribbean, especially across the eastern and northeastern Caribbean, so anywhere from Puerto Rico eastward getting in on some amount of hazy weather right now and 2 p.m. on Saturday is the forecast this is the forecast right here much of the same across those very spots and considering that the high pressure ridge is right here and everything is curving all the way around it across the eastern Caribbean it makes sense that we won't be having a majority of this dust expected to come closer to Jamaica It's going to be turning moving northward across Caribbean so we're indeed grateful for that taking a look at the wave forecast for tomorrow we can see that by 12 p.m. on Saturday both the Euro and the GFS are showing anywhere from 0 to 1 meter wave height and that's due to the fact that we'll be getting some winds coming in from the south southwest across the island for tomorrow look at that more of a south southwesterly flow we don't usually receive these kind of wind flows it's almost monsoonal in nature and we also have the upper level wind shear the upper level winds coming in from the same direction from the south southwest so we might just get in on some amount of afternoon convection especially across sections of northern parishes in Jamaica when all of that air piles up and we have that daytime heating and those low level clouds becoming thunder clouds or cumulonimbus clouds so we might just have those high cold cloud tops being pushed off towards the same direction taking a look at the rain forecast from now up until then actually this map is showing all the rainfall expected around 3 a.m this morning or tomorrow morning saturday morning we see both the euro and the gfs have some amount of rainfall across southern jamaica even northern jamaica getting in on some amount of rainfall as well I know that when we have consensus or agreement on both maps the chances of it actually happening are much higher skipping ahead to about 7 a.m on saturday we see much of the same across sections of central and eastern jamaica with the euro model being a bit more robust with the intensity of the rainfall showing more greens in there look at that across section of southern clarendon saint catherine saint andrew saint thomas but we're more inclined to want to believe what the gfs is showing the gfs is showing i don't see it that intense but we do indeed see some blues that represent rainfall so we do have the agreement there skipping ahead to the afternoon hours now to about 3 p.m eastern standard time which is about 2 p.m jamaica time 
we see that rainfall especially across northern jamaica that's where we see the consensus and we know that with the south southwesterly wind shear any rainfall that we're going to be getting on the south coast is going to be coming off the sea coming in from the south southwest so we're definitely in for some rainfall especially during the afternoon across northern jamaica and both the euro and the gfs in terms of the accumulated precipitation forecast are still showing some rainfall even up to an inch of rainfall in some spots and we know that when we have consensus on both maps like this the chances of it actually happening are much higher taking a look at the average rainfall for the month of june in jamaica we shall receive up to 133 millimeters of rainfall across the island but considering that our may rains came late we know that some of this rainfall is spilling into june so we might just get some slightly above normal rainfall in the month of june for jamaica and we're indeed grateful for that hopefully all of this rainfall puts a dent in this hydrological drought that we're receiving that's causing some amount of water restrictions across the island all right so that's it for the forecast across jamaica let's focus our attention on the rest of the caribbean so as stated we can see that we have some amount of clouds coming into sections of the windward islands so saint vincent and the grenadines grenada barbados martinique St. Lucia, Dominica, Guadeloupe getting in a small amount of overcast skies and rainfall. Lots of clouds coming in from the south and west across sections of Jamaica, Cuba, Haiti at this time, the Turks and Caicos. Lots of clouds spinning away right there across the eastern Gulf of Mexico. You can also see some buildup of clouds right there across sections of eastern Nicaragua, portions of Costa Rica as usual, sections of Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname and French Guyana as usual taking a look at the doppler radar images of the northeastern caribbean you know doppler radar images show the actual rainfall as opposed to satellite images that show cloud cover and we know that we can have cloud cover over an area and not necessarily rainfall so from about 2 pm today we see that we had some amount of scattered showers right there passing to the east of guadeloupe some rainfall coming into sections of st john's some rainfall coming into sections of let's say the u.s virgin islands right there we can also see some rainfall passing to the east of St. Kitts and we can also see some rainfall still coming into sections of Dominica and Martinique as well. Taking a look at the Barbados radar, we can see even up to tonight we have a lot of rainfall passing to the east and the north of the island of Barbados. We can also see a lot of rainfall coming in from the east and the southeast so they might just get in on some amount of isolated passing showers tonight. We can see some rainfall right there across sections of St. Lucia, St. Vincent as well. Taking a look at the wider view of Doppler radar images, we can see that rainfall right there on the Cayman radar to the east of Cayman affecting the waters to the west of Jamaica. You can also see the rainfall associated with the tropical storm Arlene across the Gulf of Mexico. You can also see that rainfall that we just mentioned on the Barbados radar. We see rainfall on the Venezuelan, well not the Venezuelan radar. We see it on the ABC Islands radar affecting sections of Venezuela. We can also see some rainfall across sections of Guyana, Suriname and French Guyana. And all of this correlates with what we just saw on the satellite images. Taking a look at the temperature forecast for the area, we can see that we have the below normal temperatures across sections of the Gulf of Mexico and east and northeastward. So sections of Florida, sections of let's say Georgia, as well as sections of the southern section of South Carolina getting in on some below average temperatures. Well, we should be expecting some average to slightly or way above average temperatures anywhere from let's say Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama and areas eastward. So eastern Cuba, the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico and the areas to the east of Puerto Rico. So majority of the leeward and windward islands as well as sections of the northeastern coast of South America getting in on some amount of above normal temperatures. And we see the consensus on both maps. I know that when we have consensus like this, the chances of it actually happening are much higher taking a look at the siren dust forecast for 2 p.m. on Saturday we still have majority of the hazy weather associated with the Sahara Desert right there as indicated by the brown shading across sections of the eastern and northeastern Caribbean and all of this is expected to curve towards the north around the high pressure so that dust won't be making its way to the central or western Caribbean at all taking a look at the wave forecast we can see that for tomorrow 12 p.m. We still have much of the same taking place aside from the fact that 
we have that one era with some high wave heights maybe up to two meter wave height and that's due to the fact that we have that era of low pressure which is tropical storm early that's going to be stirring up the water bringing more high waves either way anywhere from the western caribbean southward that's what we're expecting anywhere from 0 to 0 0.5 of a meter while anywhere from jamaica eastward that's where we have one to at least 1.5 meter wave heights and that's due to the fact that we do we won't be having some strong winds across the region majority of the eastern to central caribbean should be having some southeasterly to southerly kind of wind averaging anywhere from 0 to 15 knots and the highest winds right there to the north of hispaniola to the north of puerto rico as indicated by all of those yellows that represent 25 to 30 knot winds taking a look at the rain forecast for tomorrow both maps are showing all the rainfall that is expected from now until from now until 10 pm on saturday and we see the heaviest rainfall right there across maybe cuba the Turks and Caicos, the Bahamas is indicated by the purples and the whites within those purples that represent even up to maybe even six or seven inches of rainfall right there. We can also see a lot of rainfall predicted for sections of Haiti, Southern Dominican Republic, Jamaica still to receive more rainfall, sections of the Southeastern Caribbean to receive more rainfall even up to an inch which might lead to some flash flooding taking place. So Grenada, maybe Tobago, Trinidad, Barbados, sections of North, Northern South America, as usual, Guyana, Suriname, French Guyana, Venezuela, sections of Colombia, sections of Panama, Costa Rica, sections of Nicaragua and Honduras, even sections of Southern Puerto Rico should be getting in on some amount of rainfall, not to mention sections of the Leeward Islands, so anywhere to the north of Guadeloupe could be getting in on some slight rainfall but it won't be as robust as what portions of the Central Caribbean including Jamaica should be getting and we see consensus on both maps regarding this amount of rainfall across these very areas i know that when we have agreement like this the chances of it actually happening are much higher all right so that's it for today thanks for